I don't have to just call um, other functions from inside main. I can actually call them from within functions. So I've got my function called draw bar that just draws a uh, line of length, whatever is specified with whatever symbol is specified by mark. And I can make another function. Let's call this guy cube. And it's going to need a length and a mark. And what I can do is I can have cube call draw bar in order to draw a square on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link uh, loop from zero up to length again. And I'm going to, every time the loop goes, call draw bar. And this guy needs his actual parameters passed to it. And it's going to be length and mark again. And then what I can do from main is I can call cube. So let's say cube. Let's say, let's make it a five by five cube and let's use, how about at symbols to draw it. All right, let's see what that looks like. I'm still running from previous time. Let me get rid of that. All right, run, go. So now I have a cube built out of at symbols and this function didn't re-implement the stuff that was already implemented in drawbar, it just made use of it to its advantage. Um, one more thing about functions. When I create the function heading, the top line of the function, these guys are referred to as formal parameters. When I call the function, as here I'm calling drawbar and I pass it to values, these are called actual parameters, or sometimes you'll hear them called arguments. It's just a little bit of terminology for you. Um, and in main, I could again hand this guy variables. It wouldn't matter if I'm handing it variables or literal values when I'm passing by value to a function.